this video lesson is about reading and writing decimal numbers. So here in my topic, we're just going to focus on the tens and hundreds place value. So here are the steps in reading and writing decimal numbers. First, read them as whole number. Second, the decimal point between the whole number and the decimal number part it is read as end. And last, state the place value name of the last decimal digits. So I have here an example of 1.35. So we're just going to read the whole number on the whole number part which is 1 and also the decimal part or the fractional part which is 35 so we have now 1 at 35 so step 2 the decimal point between the whole number and decimal number is read as n we use n if we have a whole number part but we don't if we don't have a whole numbered part we're, we're just not going to use end so but my in my example we have a whole number part so that we're going to use end and now we have 1 and 35 and step 3 state the place value name of the last decimal digit so the last decimal digits is five and the place value is hundreds so that 1.35 is read and write as correctly one and 35 hundreds so again we used n because they have the whole number part we don't need to use and if we don't have a whole number part so let's try another so i have here 7.1 so again we're just going to read the whole number part which is 7 and the fractional part which is 1. let's proceed on step 2 the decimal point between the whole number and decimal point number is read as n. So we have a whole number part so that we just going to use end. So now our example is read and write as 7 and 1. Step 3. State the place value name of the last decimal digit. 1 is the last digit and the place value is tens. So that 7.1 is read and write as 7 and 1 tens. So again, we use end because they, we have a whole number part which is 7. So let's try on another. So I have here 0 0.48. So as you can see, we don't have a whole number part, so we're just going to read the fractional part, which is 48. So again, uh, if we don't have the whole number part, we're just not going to use end. So just stay on the 48. And proceed to step 3. State the place value name of the last decimal digit. So the last decimal digit is 8 and the place value is hundreds. So that 0 0.48 is read and write as 48 hundreds. We don't have the word n because we don't have a whole number for it. We just have a fractional part which is 48. And we jump on the step 3, which is a uh, place value or the last place value name, which is hundreds. How about 5 and 3 tenths? Can you write this decimal number in symbol? 
how. 5 and 3 tenths is written as 5.3. It is written one decimal place value or one decimal place after the decimal point but because of the word or because of the place value tenths. So we have n here because we have a whole number part. And 3 is the the place value of 3 is tenths. So that's so that our answer is 5.3. 9 and 12 hundreds is written as 9.12. It is written two decimal placed after the decimal point because of the place value hundreds. So hundreds comes out which is the last place value digit or the last decimal digit is 2 which is the place value is hundreds okay let's try your uh, complete the table by writing the decimal in words and symbol i'm going to show you a 1 and 2 and you're going to answer 3 4 and 5 so 4.05 is in decimals in words is 4 and 5 hundreds. 4 comes out with the whole number part and is the decimal point. And 5 hundreds uh, comes out with 0.5 because 5 the is the last digit or the last decimal digit and the place value is hundreds and next three tenths is written in decimals in symbols is 0 0.3 so we don't have n so that we're just going to write zero so it's your turn i'll give you a 30 seconds for this to answer the remaining uh, blank space so your 30 seconds starts now twenty seconds Ten seconds. Five seconds. Time is up. So I will show you my answer and compare with your answer. So ninety five hundreds and in symbol zero point ninety five. But the correct uh, correct reading is 95 hundreds and next decimal in words 6.8 6 and 8 tenths we used n because we have a whole number part which is 6 and the last 2.09 is 2 and 9 hundreds we come out with the hundreds because the last decimal digits, which is 9, has a place value of hundreds. Did you get the lesson? Congrats, you finished the lesson!